which number will come on top if the dice is moved by rolling one face at a time to the square where there is an arrow sum of opposite faces equals to 7 now 5 is over here so the opposite face has to be 2 opposite face from this side opposite to 3 has to be 4 and the bottom face right now it has to be 6 okay so when you roll the dice like this 5 is going to go at the base okay 5 is going to go, going to go at the bottom and 2 is going to come on top so 3 is going to remain so what i'll do is i'll draw the cube over here just to give an idea okay 3 is going to remain as it is 5 is going to go at the bottom 2 is going to come at the top 4 is going to remain like this 1 is going to come over here okay and the opposite one which was 6 okay which was at the bottom it is going to come on the side now it is going to ro roll down like this okay so 3 is going to come at the bottom right and so the dice is going to look like this 3 is going to be at the bottom 2 is going to be over here okay opposite is going to be 5 right now again when you roll 2 is going to be at the bottom so the opposite one has to be 5 okay so 5 is going to come at the top when the dice is rolled and brought up to the square where there is an arrow find the missing number in the below given figures okay if you observe observe carefully if you take this okay the relation is 8 multiplied by 3 comes out to be 24 out of this 24 if we subtract this number 8 okay what we are going to get is 24 minus 8 comes out to be 16 16 is nothing but this 4 square right or other way what we can write is 8 multiplied by 3 comes out to be 24 24 minus this 4 which is there okay 4 square that is 16 comes out to be 8 which is not uh, nothing but the number in the center again we'll try to check out 7 into 5 comes out to be 35 35 minus 9 okay which is nothing but 3 square 3 square over here comes out to be 26 again over here 9 into 3 comes out to be 20, 27 27 minus 5 square okay 27 minus 25 comes out to be 2 which is at the center so same way 12 into 5 comes out to be 60 and 60 minus 7 square it is going to be 7 square is nothing but 49 so 60 minus 49 comes out to be 11 the answer is 11 so the question mark comes out to be 11 this is the answer find the missing letter in the below given figure now if you carefully observe okay if we write a to z and give them position numbers like this okay these are the position numbers okay below ones which are there these are position numbers of the alphabets english alphabet a is 1 b is 2 and z is 26 and the top ones are reverse position numbers those we are not concerned with okay but it's uh, good to have both of them because we never know if the logic requires reverse position numbers okay now in these position numbers if you observe between c and f 1 2 and 3 okay c's position number is 3 i'll write over here 1 2 and 3 okay and f is 6 so the difference between position number of c and f is 3 okay if you check out f and l 1 2 3 4 5 6 the difference is 6 now l to u if you check out 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 so if you see the difference in posi uh, difference in letters okay it is increasing by 3 so next one definitely has to be 12 okay after u so let's start after z always comes a and before a always comes z because it is cyclical so after u 12 i have to start right 1 okay 1 uh, this is 1 1 2 3 4 5 okay 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 which is nothing but g right so after 12 it has to be 15 right after g we have to count 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 okay it has to be v over here and from v we have to count up to 18 okay we are, and we should get n let us check that also okay answer we have got as v okay but you have to check from v plus 18 it has to be 9 okay so this is 1 2 3 4 okay 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 
17 and 18 is nothing but n okay so this is how you get it so this sequence is actually very useful for you so whenever possible try to draw this and try to imagine it so whenever you are giving a test just before the test when you get some time when instructions are given when you get the rough paper you can try to draw this and use it for finding the answer quickly what is the next number in the series okay 5 18 67 260 if you carefully observe 5 can be written as 4 plus 1 okay 4 plus 1 this this 4 plus 1 actually can be written as 2 square plus 1 okay next is 18 18 can be written as 16 plus 2 okay plus 1 plus 2 right so this is 4 square this 4 square can be written as actually 2 raised to 4 also 2 raised to 4 plus 2 okay so the power has sort of increased by 2 now next 67 okay this is nothing but can be written as 64 plus 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 okay so but obvious next one has to be plus 4 and then it has to be plus 5 okay so 64 can be written as 2 raised to 6 you can see 2 raised to 6 comes out to be 2 cube into 2 cube okay that is 8 into 8 that is 64 right so it is 2 raised to 6 plus 2 so next one obviously has to be 2 raised to 8 plus 2 right so 2 raised to 8 will be what 2 raised to 8 will be 2 raised to 6 multiplied by 2 square right so it is 64 multiplied by 4 4 4 are 16 4 6 are 24 25 256 so it is 256 plus 4 that is 260 right so next one has to be 2 raised to 10 plus oh, sorry it's not 2 over here it's 3 and it is 4 okay 2 raised to 10 plus 5 so what you are going to have is 2 raised to 8 or uh, 2 raised to 10 will be what 2 raised to 8 multiplied by 2 square okay so that is 256 multiplied by 4 that is 1024 so i have over here is 1024 plus 5 that is 1029 option c is the answer Rooms in a hotel consist of only bedrooms and suits. If the number of bedrooms is two-third the number of suits and four-fifth bedrooms are with two beds, then what is the number of two bed bedrooms in the hotel given that the hotel has total of n rooms? Actually, very easy question. So, there are two types of rooms, bedrooms and suits. Okay, let the number of suits be x. Okay, if the number of bedrooms is two-third the number of suits, so number of bedrooms will be two-third of x. Also, we know the total rooms are nothing but n okay in the hotel so what do we get is 2x plus 3x divided by 3 would be equal to n that comes out to be 5x upon 3 is n and the value of x comes out to be 3n upon 5 okay so how many are the total bedrooms over here 2 by 3 of x so total bedrooms which are there okay they are going to be 2 by 3 of x that is 2 by 3 multiplied by 3n upon 5 so this gets cancelled and we get 2n upon 5 bedrooms okay now out of the total bedrooms four fifth bedrooms are two beds okay so i'll write over here two beds so two beds are how much four fifth of the total bedrooms that is nothing but 2n upon 5 these are total bedrooms right so what do we get over here is 8n upon 25 so two bed bedrooms are option b 8 by 25 into n what figure completes the series now if you carefully observe okay the figure so it would be very easy to find the answer see over here this figure transforms into this this one transforms into this and this one is going to transform into the answer first of all just observe the middle part this middle symbol which is there it goes to the left hand side so over here this circle with a cross goes over here okay to left hand side bottom right now the middle is this uh, sort of uh, r glass okay to inverted triangles this is going to go in the next figure this is going to go over here okay left hand side bottom corner so now there is a smiley face in the next figure that smiley face has to come over here okay on the left hand side corner so answer is option b immediately we get the answer rest of the things fall into place which figure closely resembles the unfolded form of figure z so this is the unfolded actually uh, paper okay first of all this part which is there it gets folded from the outside okay then this part gets folded from the outside and now we have this paper okay the dark lines indicates the paper there are two cuts sort of or two marks made 
what happens is that this part which is there it is folded correct over this part which is there it is folded from the other side so if a mark is here the mark also has to come over here okay cut so also over here this part this part was also folded from the outside right so if there is a cut over here cut is also going to come over here so totally if you unfold it there are going to be four cuts in a straight line okay so option a is the answer find the missing letter in the following figure now if you carefully observe d is pitched opposite of w j is pitched opposite of q and opposite of s we have to find out now over here again a sequence of a to z is very useful okay so if you if you would have written this you are going to get the answer very quickly if you observe carefully position of d is 4 and the reverse position of d is 23 so what is the position 23 normal position 23 it is of w okay and reverse position of w is 4 normal position is 23 so if you carefully observe sort of m and n are mirror are mirror images or are at mirror positions okay so one over here one over here so two away from the mirror two away from the mirror okay last one over here last one over here right second last is b from here second last is y Sec third last is x third last is c fourth last is d fourth last is w so sort of mirror okay so we are writing mirror of d okay so how to find mirror even if you don't have this figure what you can do is you know position number of d is 4 okay find the reverse position of d how to find reverse position of d reverse position reverse position is given by 27 minus the original position okay so what we get over here is 27 minus 4 that comes out to be 23 which alphabet is in the position number 23 w okay let's check out for j j's position number is 10 so the reverse position of j is going to be what 27 minus 10 it is going to be 17 whose position number is 17 it is q you can check out over here same way s okay s position number is 19 reverse position is 8 whose position number is 8 h so here it has to be h so question mark is nothing but h h is the mirror image of s over here these become really very easy and very quickly you can get the answer and compare if you have this chart ready with you before the exam before any exam you can use this